PCR principles and procedures. जैसा कि हमने डिस्कस किया कि PCR को यूज किया जा सकता है टू एम्पलीफाई स्पेसिफिक डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट कि हमारे पास मिलियन ऑफ कॉपीज जो हैं किसी भी टारगेट सीक्वेंस की वो जनरेट हो सकती हैं बाई यूजिंग दिस टेक्नोलॉजी नो द टारगेट सीक्वेंस दैट वी मे हैव फोकस्ड इट मे हैव डिफरेंट साइजेस और फ्रेगमेंट लेंथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट मे रेंज फ्राम ए फ्यू किलो बेसिस टू सेवरल किलो बेसिस लाइक इट मे बी अप टू फोर्टी किलो बेसिस एंड फाइनली द प्रोडक्ट दैट इज अक्यूमुलेटेड इट मे आल्सो बी वेरिएबल बिकॉज इट कैन बी डिपेंडेंट upon the different factors uh, of the reaction mixture like what may be the uh, concentration of the template dna and especially with reference to dark dna polymerases concentration of dntps and temperature that we have uh, used during the different steps of the uh, pcr so the yield it may be affected now with reference to Uh, reaction mixture where different components and reagents uh, they have been incorporated uh, now we can briefly focus that what may be different uh, reagents that we can use uh, during the process of dna amplification jaise maine last topic mein bhi explain kiya ki jo basic requirement hai unme se dna template hai ke हमें एक टारगेट डीएनए की ज़रूरत होती है जिसको हम एम्पलीफाई करना चाहते हैं और इसमें जो टेम्पलेट की कॉन्सेंट्रेशन है अगेन इट मे बी वेरिएबल लाइक इट मे बी पॉइंट वन टू वन माइक्रोग्राम दैट कैन बी यूज्ड इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सचर देन द नेक्स्ट इम्पोर्टेंट रिक्वायरमेंट इट इज़ द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ द प्राइमर ताकि जो हमने डी सीक्वेंस करना है ये उसके उसको फ्लैंक करे उसको सराउंड करें और फिर उसकी फाइव प्राइम टू थ्री प्राइम जो डीएनए सेंथेसिस है उसको ये डायरेक्ट करे अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज कंटेंट इन द टेम्पलेट और द टारगेट डीएनए तो इसमें जो प्राइमर की कंसंट्रेशन है अगेन इट मे बी वेरिएबल डिपेंडिंग हाउ मच रिएक्शन मिक्सचर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सपोज इट मे बी टेन और ट्वेंटी फीकोमोल नेक्स्ट it is the requirement of enzymes like dna polymerases that can uh, bind with dna to dna hybrid that is the hybrid that is formed by the template dna and the primer and then it can move along the uh, dna and adds the corresponding uh, bases according to the information that is contained in the template dna in addition to that Uh, the dntps that is uh, nucleoside triphosphates deoxy nucleotide triphosphates you can also uh, say that and in short we can say that there are different type of dntps that are more mainly four in case of dna and they are also added in a particular concentration like maybe 20 micro uh, mole uh, in case of uh, uh, this reaction mixture and we also required buffer solution that provides stability to the tark dna polymerases and uh, of course uh, some cations in the form of uh, magnesium ions or uh, uh, manganese ion that are the form of divalent cations and some monovalent cations like the potassium ion they are also required in the reaction mixture now we have the reaction mixture in append of tubes that may have the size of uh, around 0.2 to uh, 0.5 ml and in this tube the reaction mixture we can manage in different uh, volume it it depends on our own requirement ki hum kitna volume jo hai wo amplify uh, karna cha rahe hain like isme hum uh, 10 microliter ka bhi reaction mixture use kar sakte hain 25 50 100 200 it depends that how much uh, amplified dna we have the requirement jab hamara reaction mixture ready hota hai to fir hum isko thermal cycler mein jo hai wo place karte hain thermal cycler which is the pcr uh, machine to usme hum isko uh, incubate karte hain and after 
uh, placing this in thermal cycler, the reaction mixture it is subjected to a different type of temperatures. Mainly three main uh, temperatures they are used that uh, and now we are going to discuss one by one. So one of the initial uh, step in PCR it is the uh, an initialization step where the reaction mixture uh, it is heated at uh, very high temperature like it may be up to 96 or 98 degrees Celsius. So, that means DNA polymerases activate and even it can also cause the denaturation of the DNA. This is the first regular cycle. Hai, wo hai denaturation uh, step ka. so denaturation jo hai hum uh, isko karte hain at high temperature again like more than 90 degree celsius maybe 94 degree celsius uh, for a few seconds like it may be 20 to 30 seconds heat exposure to the reaction mixture so that uh, the template dna that is present it is denatured denaturation means the hydrogen bonding that is present between the complementary base pairing it is disrupted and the double stranded DNA it is converted into single stranded form. After its conversion into single stranded form, the next major step in the PCR after denaturation it is the uh, annealing of the primer. And this annealing step it is carried relatively at low temperature, like it may be between 50 to 65 degree Celsius. Or uh, it may हम ये ख्याल रखते हैं कि जो annealing temperature है वो कम से कम 5 degree Celsius low होना चाहिए to the melting temperature of the primer. तो primer जो है वो अपने complementary sequence से bind करता है on the target DNA and then with the help of DNA polymerase it can cause the extension of the DNA in the next step. So after annealing of the primer to the target sequence we can say that the next step it is the extension step where the DNA, DNA in the presence of DNA polymerases, DNTPs, buffer solution, it can uh, cause the elongation of the DNA into 5 prime to 3 prime end. So that DNA it is now uh, extended. And uh, next, so th uh, these three steps like denaturation, then uh, annealing of the primer, and next it is the extension. It is repeated many times. So DNA is subjected to repeated cycles of denaturation, aligning and extension. So at the end of the cycle we may have a huge quantity of the uh, DNA and uh, the next step is to expose the reaction mixture to the final elongation step that may be uh, up to for example like uh, 5 to 15 minutes. Uh, why this step is required? it is required so that if some uh, single stranded DNA they are present in the reaction mixture they may have also been extended uh, so and some uh, if there are some uh, uh, bases that have not been incorporated so uh, they are totally repaired so this may be the advantage of the final extension that is carried out for uh, 5 to 15 minutes and when all the steps they are completed the next step it is the holding the reaction mixture uh, at low temperature. Low temperature means that uh, when the uh, reaction it is completed, so we need its storage. So temporary storage, we use the amplified product in PCR ke, uh, ye, uh, machine or thermocycler. We can store it at low temperature, like maybe 4 degree Celsius. So when all the steps they are completed, as I explained in uh, last topic, that at the end, due to the exponential increase in the DNA concentration, we may have millions of copies of the DNA. 